hey, here's a good question. What does sticky mean when it comes to Drupal? Okay, when it comes to Drupal content, what does it mean when we say that something is sticky? Let me explain what this means. Um, let's actually do this. Let's take a look at, say, this Jane Smith article right here. This Welcome Jane Smith, our new guitarist. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the edit window. And I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to start looking at these these options down here. We sort of we've been skipping over these, and I want to show these to you in more detail. Um, if we skip down to the bottom under publishing options, we've got a bunch of different options here. We see, you know, we can actually uncheck these, check these, and uncheck these. This is published would be what you would check and uncheck. Uh, you would check this to make sure that it actually gets published to your website. Let's say this was just a draft, um, maybe a draft piece of uh, content, a draft article, and you weren't done yet. You could save it, you could click unpublished or, or uncheck published and it would save as a draft you know, on your site and then you could go back and publish it later. Promoted to front page, can you guess what that means? That basically means um, that anything, if you publish this, it this item, it will get published on the front page as well as a teaser. Now that is the default behavior for any article but this is something you can change. You can uncheck this if we want to, if we didn't want this to be promoted to the front page. So we're going to leave it, we're going to leave the default behavior for now. Here's this final one. By default, this one is not checked, um, but sticky at top of list. There's that word sticky right there. What does it mean? Well, let's actually click it and find out. I'm going to edit this article and actually select sticky at top of list. I'm going to click save. And okay, there's our article right there. It doesn't look very different, right? It looks in fact kind of the same. Let's go back to the front page and see what's happened. Ah, okay, what do we notice that's different? Well, first of all, let's change the order, okay? You remember in the last screencast, I explained how when stuff gets published to the front page, it appears in reverse chronological order. Order. You can change this, and in fact, there might be a piece of content that you decide is really, really important. Like, let's say your band just got signed, you got an awesome publishing deal, and you want this to be, you know, you want this to be a, a you know, a, a major piece of, of news that you want to leave you want to feature this news even though other stuff is happening in the background um, you can you can make that article sticky and in this particular case in this particular theme and this particular version of this installation the default behavior is that it kind of highlights it by adding this square box around it and different themes and I'll talk about themes in a future screencast different themes will treat this differently and you can you can actually alter you can customize the behavior but by default it's going to try to bring out that content somehow visually and so here it puts it at the top and it's it's added sort of a shaded background and it's added that box around there and that's sort of to to emphasize that hey you know um, this is an important piece of news. Let's say we, we decide, okay, you know, clearly this is not going to be important forever and ever. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let's click on this, this article right here and let's go ahead and click on the edit um, button. Let's unstick this, okay? <laughs> because, you know, eventually it's like, okay, we get it. Jane's your new guitarist. That's fine. Okay, let's add a new piece of content. What would be important to keep sticky? Um, how about we want to have an, an article about, um, uh, how about uh, um, tour, uh, um, uh, Japanese tour, uh, tickets now on sale. There we go. Maybe that's something you want to have sticky. You want to feature that for the next month for all your Japanese fans or something. I don't know. Uh, Japan uh, tour tickets. There we go. Uh, let's just do, do, do. Okay. And we'll go ahead. And this is something I would like it to be sticky at top of list. So I just clicked on publishing options, sticky at top of list. Let's hit save. Okay. There's the article. The article itself is not going to look any different if it's sticky, but if you go to the front page, let's go to the front page, we'll see, Hey, this is going to be sticky. And then we can add some more content. Let's go ahead and add a new article here. Our new article is going to be, hmm, what is a new article going to be? How about um, um, our drummer wrote a new song and it's, <laughs> and it's actually pretty good. There we go. Drummer songwriting. I don't know. I'm not feeling very creative today. 
Okay, there we go. I don't want that to be sticky. That's just going to be normal news. Publish that. Okay, let's go to the front page. And, okay, see? All the rest of this information stayed in reverse chronological order, but this sticky article is is sticky, or it stays at the top. It's featured, because we, wa we want people to notice that first, okay? All right, I hope that you understand the concept of sticky. This is actually a pretty important, very, very useful um, um, co concept to know in Drupal. Um, so I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.